Welcome to the continued adventures of Inigo and Colin. And Mr. Dragonfly, of course. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on another adventure. And thank you especially to Ed's Gaming and these channel members. Okay, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've recently added um, another mod. It's in the mod list in the description. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. He's starting to scare me a little. <laughs> Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Hope you're not angry, but I need some more resources. Come around when you have time. Okay. Well, we don't have time right now. Um, I think I was just trying to say that I've installed a, a new mod called Save the Ice Runner. So there's a guy over here that wants us to turn the lighthouse off in solitude so that a ship will run aground, this ship called the Ice Runner. And that will run aground and then they will loot it. And um, I've never liked that there wasn't an alternative. Dad, you're it. Okay, catch me. Uh, th there wasn't an alternative for that. And we're gonna do the alternative with, through this mod called Save the Ice Runner. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? So, what did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. What kind of things? I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. So what would happen to the sailors on the on the ship? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. I should turn you into the guards. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Dock work is not good work. Better than Black Marsh, though. Much better. Okay, so what was your suggestion again? As I said, it's easy to find things nobody will miss. My sister Deej and I are treasure hunters. You could be too. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. So you want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you later. Well, I am here for you. Come on, we've got a job to do. Let us go. So, we can either put out the fire or turn him into the guard captain. So, let's go see the guard, the captain. All this. 
Jari Ra back there is up to something. He wants me to help sh set up a shipwreck. That's quite an accusation. I assume you have proof? Uh, no, I can't prove it, but if you take him in and drag him over the coals, I'm sure he'll give you all the information you need. Well, come back when you have some more evidence. What kind of waste of space are you? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to. Need something? Him. I'm sorry. Come on in, you go. We've got to get some evidence. Ah, there you are. I thought I had lost you. Just thought I'd save you a walk. <laughs> Colin, I am not sure you should put that fire out. It seems like a dangerous idea to me. Yes, my friend. Inigo, you're absolutely right. I agree with you. I'm just looking for evidence here. Um, <laughs> sweet rose. I am always here for you, my friend. Yeah, I'm not looking for sweet rolls. I gave you sweet rolls earlier. We're looking for evidence. No, that will just put the fire out. Let's check out this nearby cave. I don't think this is the one we want. I love that. Excuse me, my friend. I'm sorry. I haven't left you anything again. Sometimes we dragonborns just get a hunch, and I don't think that Brinewater Grotto was the cave that we want. I think we want this next cave round. Ignore the hawker. So I've got a hunch that this is the place. How am I doing, Inigo? Whatever you say, Colin. 
I see somebody. Do we have the rain? It took a long time to get there. <laughs> Come on, Indigo. Spiders in here. Tomato soup. Do you say tomato soup or do you say tomato soup? It's, it's more common in um, Britain to say tomato, but um, I know a lot of um, Americans and most of the people watching this are American men between the ages of 18 and 24. Isn't that weird? So you probably say tomato. And also, if you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed as well. Subscribe, ring the bell, please. I expected spiders in there. Perhaps I'm thinking of a different cave. That's the 
Captain. <sighs> I'm being very stealthy, Inigo. Quite proud of myself. You've got a vivid imagination if it keeps killing all your crew. That's either ah, that's I've I've done a service for the um, the headsman in solitude. Must be my imagination. That sounded really close. Someone else. No, this can't be happening. <sighs> huh? Anybody there? <sighs> Nothing here after all. What was that? Okay, if there's anyone left, you get the sword. Take this evidence. Okay.
There we go, read that at your leisure. Oh. Would be better if I actually took it. I am getting used to this now. The sharp rocks, the deadly traps, the still air. It's not so bad. Stick with me, Inigo, you'll be alright. Okay, where did the captain go? There he is. With that elven rubbish. We are done, we can get out of here. Teleportation successful. Oh. Okay. Heard about you Out with it. honeyed words. Thanks. No autographs now. Um, here's that proof you wanted. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, go mm. do your job. Works for me. Let's go. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Wouldn't we all? Yeah, go on then, talk to him. This is the only rubbish bit about that mod. It takes him forever to arrest him. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? What? What crimes have been committed? Don't play stupid. I'm placing you under arrest. This can't be happening. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk up with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. All right, all right. No need to get rough. How about that, Inigo? I am here for you. Good lad. Okay, then. Hey, wanna play tag? Nope, not right now. <laughs> okay. That's it. I'm going to call it there. That's our adventuring done for today. So, say goodbye for now, Inigo. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Tune in next time for more fantastic adventures. Starring Inigo the Brave, Mr. Dragonfly the Dizzy, and Colin the Patient. <laughs>